Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, in number 714, we're going to talk about Toroth, God of Fury. Now, this is a 4-mana 5-4 Trampler, which, to be honest with you, is not bad on its own. Whenever a creature or a planeswalker an opponent controls is dealt excess non-combat damage, Toroth deals damage equal to that excess to any other target. So... That is beautiful. This is one of the uh, first times we've seen the term excess damage. Um, which, by the way, there are a few cards I am missing. I would have loved to have put in here the uh, the damage doublers and tripler um, are absolutely phenomenal. And I think maybe even like a Stuffy Doll or the Goblin, whatever. But anyway, the first couple cards that came to my mind chain reaction because you know the more creatures there are the be uh, the bigger it is and that's it's excess non-combat damage because it, it can't be combat you know that's what our our commander wants so chain reactions good uh, blasphemous act you know 13 damage to everything but star of extinction woo nelly uh, 20 damage to each creature and each planeswalker so that is that should provide with a uh, an ample amount of uh, non-combat excess damage. So, but then I was kind of further down that rabbit hole. You know, busy mortars, sport everything, pyroclasm, two, whoop, sweltering suns is three, comet storms, just however much you want, and, and that led me down the X spell route. You know what I'm talking about, blaze. Earthquake deals everything. Um, volcanic Geyser, Shatter Skull Smashing, which is just good anyway. And then Magma Quake. But this is about uh, the Power Master Swath. It's about the only, you know, pop-up Toroth. Uh, or not Toroth, but a Torbrand would be good. Maybe not, because he's going to die to most of our stuff. But anyway. Um, an extra two, that's not bad. Uh, a lot of just, you know, straight damage, uh, you know, lightning bolt, demon bolt, beacon of destruction, stone fury, I really like, uh, target creature equal number of lands you control, that late game, that's a serious top deck, and then ether flash to try to, because that's non-combat damage, and if a 1-1 one, one comes in, and you know, you can pink another whatever, but let's look at our ramp, our artifact ramp here, because this is, uh, something something serious because you know all those X spells we've got to have mana soul ring mind stone fell war stone pyretic ritual I figure why not fire diamond dark steel ingot really liking those rocks that produce a red you know worn power stone prismatic talisman unstable obelisk can double as late game removal spectral searchlight Burnished Heart, getting them lands. Seer's Lantern. Hedron Archive. Even Manolith. Paradise Plume. I mean, it's single color. Why not Paradise Plume? And Cissé's Ring. Now, that's a lot of rocks. And I'll show you why. Because Wildfire. Did you hear that? That's the sound of most people clicking away. Because nobody really likes the Wildfire. Uh, you know. Everybody sacks four lands and deals four damage to each creature. That might actually provide some uh, excess damage there that, that we can redirect. Maybe that four damage didn't, you know, kill some of the creatures, and you can redirect or have some of that damage roll over to the player. Yeah, why not, right? And with as many rocks as we have, uh, the wildfire, and even then, the next upgrade, destructive force. Uh, it's going to set a lot of decks behind. So let's look at some card draw. We have a little bit here. Uh, Faithless Looting, uh, Cathartic Reunion, Thrill of Possibility, Tormenting Voice, Light Up the Stage, uh, Wheel of Fate, and Magus of the Wheel, because we're probably, you know, just spinning out our hand. Um, Doing the Court of Ire, you know, it's, we're not, you're not likely 
how many times can you guarantee Monarch with, with one of the Monarch cards? You know, it, it's, I don't know. Depends on your board state, I guess. And then Elk and Bottle. I, I know there are better versions. I just like the Elk and Bottle. And this Elk and Bottle has seen some play. I'm telling you. Uh, we have creatures that deal, you know. Now, hostility is just a whole different ball game. If you draw hostility, then um, it kind of alters your game a little bit because you can, like, get crazy with those three one shamans. Uh, we have Crimson Hellkite. I know at nine mana it's kind of overcosted. We, this would probably cost six if it were being casted today. Magmatic Force. Each upkeep. Each upkeep. Three damage to any target. So that might actually provide some. What do you say? It's going to deal five damage to something, right? Uh, Flame Blast Dragon. It looks like a dragon deck, doesn't it? Uh, I mean, it's hard in mono red for it not to be. Uh, Thunder Dragon and Morden Dragon. I uh, I like this. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may have it deal that much damage to target creature that player controls, which if it's excess, then you get to reassign that somewhere. Kind of neat. Uh, Amarang Chandra. Uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> For that ultimate, I mean, yeah, to all three of her abilities do damage, but 10 damage to them and all their stuff. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Swiftfoot Boots, because we kind of want to protect our commander. Uh, Granite Grip and Claws of Valakit. Sometimes you can just get in there. You, you know, you've got those maybe on your commander with a Rogue's Passage, and you're like, huh, okay. Here's a free takeout. <clears throat> Overblaze. Yeah, it only works that one time, but it is technically a doubler. Cerebral Eruption. Mm. And then Welding Sparks. There again, playing off how many artifacts that we've got. Uh, Removal-wise, there's not a whole lot of removal. I don't know if we can even count to Ball's Trickery as removal. But Pillage, uh, that's pretty much it because... Um, the idea behind the deck is just straight killing creatures, dealing damage to creatures so that it can, you know. Uh, special non-basic lands. I've got one cycle land, a Temple of the False God, and a Tamiki Koro, Center of the Sea. So, that is Mono Red Toroff. Like I said, uh, this is uh, what I'm going to call an early version because I would really like to get the... Um, you know, Furnace Wrath or, or the, um, oh, I can't think of what that tripler is called. But all of those in there, because that stuff can get ridiculous if you uh, start stacking up, up those abilities. Totally can. So 714 is done. We're going to put it on the wall. And uh, that is it for today. Uh, I do appreciate everybody. Watching this far, and hey, if you've watched this far, you know, and you're not subscribed, please consider it. You know, just well, that way, because uh, I know just by the sheer nature of, of what I'm doing in the quest, not everybody wants to see every deck, but you know, if you do, here I am. And we've been doing dailies now for what a couple of months. So that's what I'm going to try to continue on doing. So I appreciate it. And right now, we're going to go ahead and shuffle and cut.